Can we talk? Can we talk about? Yeah, sure. Uh, right now? Well, yeah, sure. Um, I, I will say this. Um, you know how I I have a text exchange with some buddies of mine from. Sure. You met them at my 50th birthday party as well. I grew up with them uh, in Staten Island, and <clears throat> and uh, a couple of them went to Michigan. So my buddy Paul uh, and my buddy uh, uh, John, we text each other, and um, during the games, and um, he sent this one. He's put it perfectly here. Um, he said this, quote, I'm just glad I don't have to go on my nationally broadcasted eponymous radio show and have to make excuses for Michigan's awful play. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Paul. The game, it was 14-13. Well, it was, it was 6 nothing, and then they missed an extra point. You can't, look, when you go into a game that you need to have and you're going into a game with an opponent ranked higher and you're going into a game against your blood rival that's beaten you seven straight times... Don't miss an. I mean, don't miss an extra point. Don't fumble it in your red zone. Don't go off sides when your defense gets gets you the ball back before the end of the half. Yeah. Don't commit a turnover like that after you've already committed an actual turnover. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on. I don't have an answer. I'm retortless. I am despondent. I'm retortless. I'm depressed. I don't have the answer. I'm not going to come on this show and say, my coach must be fired. I'm not going to do that. I don't. Because Harbaugh could turn it around just in, a, in the same way that it's gone falling and completely apart against Ohio State. I, I, I don't. I'm not going to sit here and, and blast him. Yeah. It's patently disappointing. It's not anything close to remotely what I was envisioning when, when I pounded the table five years ago, right around this time when he was on the outs with the 49ers saying, please take the job. You know, Georgia reaches out for, for, for Kirby Smart. How's that working out there? Pretty good. Okay. See, he used to play Georgia, right? Thought the same thing was going to happen. And um, Ohio State has risen its level of play while also maintaining the same intensity and hatred for Michigan in, 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 with a passion that doesn't appear to be met. I mean, that's the thing that really crushes me. I'm sure it means a ton to these kids. But Ohio State's got, like, we're, we're number one, and we're going to go out and get Justin Fields from Georgia, and he's going to be a Heisman Trophy candidate. We go out and get Shea Patterson from Ole Miss, and it doesn't pan out nearly as well. We try and get the top recruits to compete with Ohio State. Ohio State gets the top recruits to compete with Alabama and everybody else. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.